good day class uh, for this video we will uh, uh, talk about uh, one no, of the uh, prominent uh, forms of art in uh, the Islamic culture the Islamic uh, belief which is uh, the creation of uh, Islamic geometric patterns no? so let's start Islamic geometric art uh, Muslims had a long history of using mathematics and architecture more than a thousand years ago Muslim scholars and artists especially in the Baghdad in Iraq ayan, created uh, an alternative form of decoration with basic tools so what are the basic tools so probably a ruler a compass no uh, maybe in the ancient times uh, compass were just a uh, stick and thread no yeah, so common feature of Islamic art is uh, the covering of surfaces covered with geometric patterns. No? So this use of geometry is thought to reflect the language of the universe and help the believer to reflect of life uh, on life and the greatness of creation. No? So uh, the complex design of uh, the Islamic geometrical patterns are uh, maybe... Uh, spiritual tools no in such a way no that uh, the believers no uh, would be able to uh, at least no figuratively no or visualize no uh, the life in cosmos no the the their their spirituality their spiritual life no? so uh, if you're going to look at this ano naman, uh, patterns no, the repetitions it's very heavenly no it, it, it looks like stars etc it, it's uh, uh, using several no polygons no to depict what is a uh, uh, heavenly uh, greatness no Ayan. so where can we find this art uh, commonly, of course, in their house of prayers, no, in the mosques, no. Mosques are uh, temples, no, in Islam. Madrasas, no, the schools, no? yeah. their tombs and palaces, etc. So, according to Kayaspor uh, Ali, uh, in uh, her blog, no, Islamic art and architecture also used geometry in many ways. Yeah. As a math geek, no. Uh, I have been uh, fascinated with the calligraphy of the Quran. I had a lot of opportunities to look at the Islamic geometric patterns carefully whenever I went to a mosque. The thing that I noticed was they were not figurative. Those delicate motifs and vibrant colors of geometric patterns our designs always drew me into a peaceful state and prompted me to reflect no? so uh, going back to uh, the first uh, no no it, it, the definition no it it uh, helps the believer to reflect on life no and the greatness of creation so uh, this is uh, this uh, reflects no on uh, on uh, Miss Kaya's four, no? so yeah. So belief. So according to Islamic belief, geometry has exhausted all possible artistic applications. No? So geometry has served the shaping of uh, spaces, design, and decoration in using its mathematical system. So it has mathematics, no, involved. Yeah. So without restriction over uh, other than. The technical impossibility. Ayan. So, in Islamic art, geometry constitutes both the means and the objective of art making. So, uh, it's calculated. No, it's not uh, uh, metaphysical. Yeah. So, with, when we say metaphysical, it's not. Uh, it's 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 objective. It's not subjective. It's not uh, 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 made just to be made. No. Yeah. So geometric patterns and arabesques are believed to represent that sense of infinity of God. So look at the uh, visualization of infinity, diba? So it's really infinite, yeah. 
So geometric patterns are used in many Islamic arts like architecture, carpet weaving, ceramics, woodwork, and book covers for the Quran. So it's not just in uh, uh, the structures. Now commonly we will uh, uh, be able to see uh, these geometric patterns in of course structures. No, there's uh, there's a lot of mosques in the Philippines and uh, in the world, but it's also used in other uh, forms of art in uh, Islam no? or in the Middle East. No? So, yeah, such as carpet weaving, uh, ceramics, no? woodwork, and book covers. No? Yeah. So, this is a very uh, interesting form of art. So, we will try uh, uh, emulating no? this in uh, paper cutting. So, probably the other details will be discussed further no? in, uh, in a former classroom or in uh, other videos pa. Ayan. So, I'll see you in a few. Let's try to uh, imitate the Islamic uh, geometric patterns. For the materials, you need colored papers, scissors, or cutter. But if you will use cutter, you need uh, at least assistance from uh, guardian or uh, parent. Pencils, cores, and Elmer's you might want to also prepare erasers and uh, tapes you know, for your errors. For the first step, we need to make a square. So we need to cut out the excess part of your chosen colored paper. So for that to happen, you need to uh, fold no, a triangular uh, shape in your paper it has to be uh, folded 90 degrees no, to make perfect uh, uh, square. No, if your uh, square or if your folding is not uh, perfect or uh, at least no, it's uh, uh, not aligned uh, 90 degrees, you will won't be able to create a perfect uh, square. So if your colored paper is uh, thick, so just fold it slowly or gently. No? Uh, but if it's uh, too thin, be very careful with it so it because it might uh, tear off. Yeah. So this is the uh, uh, outcome. Now we need to remove this excess, excess part. We need to fold it out no? For, uh, first to uh, create a distinct no? folded line no? where to cut the, the paper. So again, uh, gently fold it. No? Uh, and also uh, later on, yan, uh, you need to make sure no, that it is uh, uh, secured. So you need to fold it in the other side also, like uh, this, yan. and uh, uh, this one. So in front of you, uh, we will try to use cutter. So try to. Uh, avoid using cutter as much as possible you can also use scissors but if you want to use cutter you may uh, want to ask assistance from your parents or your guardians yeah. so now we have uh, a perfect uh, square so the excess paper you just set it aside do not throw it away now we start folding it uh, another so it that uh, it will have no uh, four folds. Actually, we need eight, no? Why? Because uh, we need to uh, observe symmetry in our artwork. No, we need to uh, make the shapes, no, that we will uh, <clears throat> cut symmetrical as much as possible to create uh, a pattern. So we will fold it uh, gently. Okay. Okay, and another for the uh, for it to have uh, eight folds. No? Uh, as as you fold it uh, more, it beca it becomes uh, harder to fold, no, because uh, the paper gets thicker, especially if your paper is very thick. Okay, now we make our patterns. We draw uh, the patterns to make sure uh, it's perfectly planned, no? and then we use cutter and scissors to cut out the design okay so be careful with that next we need to create another square 
no? so for this case i chose color red no so this is for the background of the uh, geometric pattern no? so i will just repeat the first no, step in making a square so there you go a red square and then i will uh, uh, put the design on top of it okay so this is what we're going to do now we have to glue it no and use the excess no the excess uh, cutouts no to to decorate no the borders yeah so make sure it's all secured and there you go so make sure it's secured i will uh Tap it upside down and then you leave it to dry and there you go.